Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Glenn Preezy. If you are new here, hey girl, hey. And to my subbies, you know I love y'all. Thank you so much for continuing to support this journey. As you can see by the title and by the thumbnail, today we are going to be talking about estrogen dominance. I have been getting a lot of questions on this topic. So if you wanna know more about this topic, how it can be affecting you and your body, the signs, symptoms, risk factors, and how to get rid of it, you know what to do. Keep watching. Okay guys, so come on in, take a seat. Let's talk about estrogen dominance. I have been getting so many questions about estrogen dominance since I first mentioned it in my first video about how I'm shrinking my fibroids naturally. And I thought it was very important to do a separate video to address this specifically because this in fact was one of the conditions that contributed to my fibroids. So you know we gotta talk about it. So today we're gonna be talking about what it is, the signs and symptoms of it, why it happens in the first place, and what's causing it, and some ways to help manage it naturally. But before we get started, I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's video, Anna Luisa Jewelry. If you have watched any of my other videos, you have seen me rocking their jewelry pieces. I am a big accessory and jewelry girl, as you can see in my videos. So Anna Luisa Jewelry is my go-to for affordable, quality, unique jewelry pieces. Not only are they affordable and their designs start off at around $39, they offer a two-year warranty on all of their jewelry pieces free and fast delivery in the US, thank God, because I hate waiting on my packages, child. I'm waiting on one now. <laughs> The very best thing about this company to me is that they are climate and carbon neutral. So they craft all of their designs with the planet in mind and y'all know I'm all about sustainability. When you order from them, all of your pieces are going to come in these beautiful storage pouches. They are amazing quality and I always keep my jewelry in here and they're great for travel as well so that your jewelry doesn't get all tangled up. So if you are looking for something special, please go and check them out. The link is down below in the description box and I have a special coupon code that saves you guys 20% off of your order. That is going to be down in the description box as well. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this topic. First things first, I am not a medical professional, okay? I'm just good at what I'm good at, research. I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna steer you wrong, but I ain't no doctor, all right? Okay, so what is estrogen dominance? Estrogen dominance is a condition where you have increased estrogen levels compared to your other sex hormones, namely progesterone, okay? It's important for me to mention that you can have estrogen dominance even if your estrogen levels are not out of range per se. They can be in normal range but higher than progesterone and that can create an estrogen dominant state. The two should be balanced in order to create harmony and keep things working properly. And you can get labs done to confirm these findings, okay? So let's talk symptoms for a second. How do you know you have this besides getting a hormone panel done and having it confirmed? Some of the symptoms can be depression, fatigue, weight gain, mood swings, insomnia, fibroids, PCOS, ovarian tumors, hair loss, some other common symptoms of estrogen dominance, and I'm going to be reading this from hormonebalance.com, are tender, lumpy, and fibrocystic breasts, estrogenic cancers such as breast, ovarian, uterine, uterine polyps, endometriosis, PM heavy periods, irregular periods, thyroid problems or lots of water retention, infertility, lack of ovulation, and many more. Those are just some of the really common ones. So how does this happen to you? This can happen in many different ways, but one of the ways that it can happen is that you have poor estrogen metabolism or a sluggish liver. Your liver is not processing and getting rid of estrogen optimally. Other causes can be birth control, insulin resistance, environmental pollutants or xenoestrogens. Some other reasons why you might be experiencing this is a bad diet, nutritional deficiencies, gut issues, chronic constipation. So 
how do you combat this condition? For me, it took a combination of many things, most of which I have talked about here on this channel in most of my other videos. If you haven't watched my video already about my diet, I just released that video. Go over and watch that for some examples on what I'm eating that has helped me to balance my own estrogen dominant state. But number one, your diet. You need to change your diet. You're going to want to have a healthy, balanced diet, one that is fiber rich, full of green, leafy, cruciferous vegetables. I talk about this a lot and I talk about it a lot because these types of vegetables, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, spinach, cabbage, cauliflower, those types of things, those help with estrogen metabolism, okay? That's going to help your liver to process and get rid of excess estrogen. Very important and one of the best natural ways to help your body out in this state. You're going to want to drink green tea. Your girl's always sipping on some. Get you some, okay? Eat a lot of berries and red foods like beets and things of that nature. The red foods tend to help cleanse the blood and you know that's going to help with your estrogen levels. You are going to want to avoid processed food, highly processed meats. I talked about this in that last video that I did about my diet. So go watch that for more information on that and like specific examples of, of what I mean. Sugar, especially refined sugar and dairy. Whoa, no dairy. Dairy needs to find its way out of your diet, okay? <laughs> you could give it the boot. All right, you'll need her. And lastly, supplements, of course. You're going to wanna to take some supplements that are gonna help the body boost your liver metabolism. There are quite a few supplements that you can take. Obviously, I'm going to mention that you check out My Happy Flow, but there are also ingredients that you're gonna to wanna to look for are DIM or D-I-M. Look that up or talk to your doctor about that one. Also, calcium D-glucarate. Also, sulforaphane. I never know if I'm saying that right. I will have all of the information you need and articles to read down in the description bar below as well, so don't worry. Okay, so those are supplements, but I also wanted to mention to you some vitamins and other natural herbs that you can take to help with this process. B vitamins are very important for liver detoxification as well. Milk thistle, dandelion, chicory, burdock, those are some natural things that you can take to help with your liver processes as well. You guys are the greatest, so I know some of you are going to throw some recommendations in that comment section, especially Especially if you are a medical practitioner of any sort, throw your recommendations for estrogen dominance in the comments below. I really hope that this quick video was helpful for you guys. As always, get down in those comments below. Let me know your experience with estrogen dominance. Mine has been quite a rough one to say the least. And of course, make sure that you thumbs this video up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There is so much good content coming. Make sure that you hit that link in the description box below to check out Ana Luisa Jewelry. Again, down in that description bar is a wealth of information. Always check that out. Also go over and check out some of my other videos. They are gonna be on the screen somewhere over here, over there. <laughs> check those out. Thank you so much for watching this video and continuing to support this journey that I am on. I hope that you guys are doing well and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Until next time, you guys, I love you.